So, are all pay-per-views going to start with Wrestlemania now? It's going to be awkward when War Rumble comes around. I'm Chris Wolver, the wrestling vlogger who always tells it like it is. Things are starting to open up here in Florida, for good or for ill. I'm sure talk about having live crowds in the Thunderdome are already starting. I, for one, would want the WWE to wait until more people are vaccinated in the state before doing that. And besides that, if you have to put WrestleMania at the start of every pay-per-view title, I think everyone can tell you're getting desperate. But, yeah, this year it's not just any backlash, but WrestleMania backlash. Like nobody knows what it's backlash from, right? Sadly, the lineup doesn't look too good, not to mention the number of matches seem to indicate that the matches will be lengthy, and because of that, probably lower in quality as they drag on. The fact that five of the six announced matches are title matches doesn't help matters. Not even that two of the matches are triple threats help. Honestly, I think they just tossed in the WrestleMania to make it look better. Like, we're that stupid. Well, at best, I can improve on my dismal WrestleMania record. Here are my predictions for WrestleMania Backlash. The only non-title match this time is the Lumberjack match between Damien Priest and The Miz. You know, I think the Lumberjacks themselves would be more interesting. Can you imagine... If Riddle talks Randy Orton into wearing a large plaid shirt, because I can sure see Riddle doing that. But seriously, what is it with getting Miz and Lumberjack matches these days? He had to do it to let Bobby Lashley gain the WWE title, and now it's just to get a beating from the Green Arrow wannabe? You do know Miz has a wife and kids to feed, right? He can't do that from a hospital bed. Oh, I'm sure there are some Miz supporters uh, out there in the group, least of which being John Morrison. But I think this might be where Miz and Morrison break up. Winner is da Damian Priest, and we can finally put this feud out of its misery, and out of our misery. SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Dirty Dogs, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, defend against Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Okay, this is a tough one for me. On the one hand, I can can't I really can't imagine the Mysterios as champions. On the other hand, it seems to me that Ziggs and Rude have run their course as tag champs, if not as a tag team as a whole. I really want Rude to go back to his glorious singles career, maybe get a crack at the Intercontinental or even the Universal title. And I'd like for Ziggler to just go home. Of course, I would like Ray to go home and let Dominic continue his legacy, so I'm torn. Don't, don't want either of the teams as champs, but there's got to be a winner, so... I go with Ziggler and Rude. SmackDown Women's Championship. Bianca Belair versus Bailey. Talk about a cakewalk. Bailey hasn't been in a match for a long time. Rust versus Rust may be the call of this match, but... Come on. They didn't make Belair the champ this quickly so she can lose it even more quickly. Bailey has may have more than one trick up her sleeves, but ever since she stopped being a hugger, her career has been slowly circling the drain. Not that it's her fault, mind. But she pretty much was written as a one-trick ponytail from the start. And speaking of ponytails... Don't be shocked if we see Belair use that long braid in some ingenious new way. Let's just hope that Belair doesn't get involved in and then lose a hair versus hair match. That braid is her bread and butter. Anyway, Belair is the EST of the WWE for a reason, and she'll show it this time. Don't be surprised if Sasha Banks makes a return, though. Winner is, and still champ is Bianca Belair. Triple threat for the Raw Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley versus Asuka versus Charlotte Flair. I honestly don't think Ripley gives any number of dams whether she has to fight one or two women to defend her title. She thinks she's strong enough and tough enough to handle it. After all, 
She was able to end the long reign of Asuka as champ at WrestleMania, although, given Asuka's record, everyone beats Asuka at WrestleMania. And Asuka, likewise, doesn't care who she has to go through to win back the title, but Flair is not alone. She seems to have assistant official Sonya Deville in her back pocket, and I'm sure if things don't go Flair's way in the match, Deville's going to be out there and to restart the match somehow. Hmm. A prominent figure wanting to change the result of a fair match just because they didn't win? I would come up with something st stupid like that. Anyway, Ripley is tough enough to get through both of them. She'll make sure Flair is a non-factor before putting Asuka away. Winner and still champ, Ray Ripley. Universal Championship, Roman Reigns defends against Cesaro. It's about time the Swiss Superman gets a proper primary title push in the company. <clears throat> Pardon, I just wish it was against someone who deserves the title and isn't just a part-timer like Brock Lesnar was. And yet... It appears to be the curse of that blue and gold title that the owner, if he be a heel, doesn't bother to defend it or even compete, except in pay-per-views. At least Roman defends it at all pay-per-views instead of just majors. In any case, Reigns is the head of the table because he's afraid he'll be excommunicated from the family if he loses the title, so he'll defend it dirty if necessary. Now, it wasn't necessary in Daniel Bryan's final fight on SmackDown, but he might need Jey Uso's help against Cesaro. But what if Jimmy Uso butts in? Whose side will he be on? And can even Cesaro fight against those odds and win? I think Cesaro will get the title. It's just not going to be this time. Winner and still champion Roman Reigns. Finally, a triple threat for the WWE Championship. The almighty WWE Champion Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman. Now, unlike Reigns, Lashley is a fighter and a damned good one at that. He doesn't need any of MVP's help to hang on to that prestigious belt. Although, given the rules of this match, he might want to consider it. As much as I like Drew McIntyre, I feel his time as champ has come and passed. He might get it back, but I don't think it should be anytime soon. As for Strowman, well, he did lose the Universal title to The Fiend and then to Roman Reigns in rather controversial fashion, but there's no doubt in my mind that Strowman's still main event material. Maybe Lashley should consider getting MVP to use that cane of his to, at the very least, distract Strowman while he takes care of McIntyre. After all, Triple Threat does mean no DQ. Winner and still almighty WWE Champion, Bobby Lashley. Those are my picks. Next picks will be for what I can only assume will be called NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver in Your House and WrestleMania Money in the Bank. I'm Chris Wolf with the Wrestling Vlog who always tells it like it is. Stay safe and I'll see you.